Alright, so I am on the way to Trieste, which is about two hours and or no, an hour and 53 minutes from Venice. So I'm on the coastal region now. And what you see is uh, I'm actually near the Slovenian border. Actually, the, oh, that could have just been the border that I showed you. Or not. Yeah, that could very well be. I'm looking at the map. And Slovenia is basically on the left behind these uh, behind these hills right here. As you can see that it is a lot more hilly than the uh, the river lagoon, let's say, in uh, Venice. Because the lagoon is just uh, completely flat. There is no mountains whatsoever. In Slovenia it's mostly mountainous and hilly country because it's just south of uh, Austria. And right now I'm just uh, getting into the hills. We're on this very thin, this narrow strip of land here, see? And there on the left is basically Slovenia. I don't have a good signal, but we're somewhere out here. Now I'm on the way to Trieste, which is on the end of this little land tongue, let's say. And then I'm gonna enjoy a few hours there. Then move on to Udine, which is all the way up there. And then get back to Venice for the night again. So yeah, as you can see, I've never been to Slovenia. I probably can't cross the border right now because you need a, a test and just can't up across borders like you used to, unfortunately. Wish that were true, because I would have liked to visit the town of Kompe, but no way uh, I can do that right now. And on the right you see the bay, the Adriatic Sea. the architecture that's really I like seeing the crossroads of uh, Balkans, Eastern Europe and Southern Europe let's say and Trieste is supposed to be uh, very special in that regard having been a part of the Habsburg Empire for about five centuries and whatnot uh, it's been heavily influenced by all, all sorts of uh, well all sorts of empires I would say nowadays it's Italy obviously uh, I thought why not, it's worth the two hours on the train one way, especially if on the way back I can break it up with a visit to Putin. Uh, so yeah, let's check out Trieste today. Arriving in Trieste. Alright, so this is uh, Trieste, which looks absolutely different than other cities in Italy. As I said, just by virtue, because it has been part of the Habsburg Empire for five centuries, it looks like you're in Austria. You know, I don't know, could be Salzburg, whatever. Could be like in a, you know, a bit of a southern Austrian type of city. And uh, yeah. It looks Slovene, I guess. Looks a bit like Ljubljana as well. Except that Ljubljana is not on the seaside. And I've never been there. I've never been to Slovenia ever. It's one of the last European countries I haven't been. But uh, yeah, I know it looks like it because obviously I've studied, studied a lot about all countries. And the architecture is very, very similar. So this is a bit of a central European city, more so than truly Italian, but uh, Italy obviously is a country of contrast, so Trieste is as much a part of that as any other city. So let's explore. So yes, absolutely stunning city. Looks like Vienna almost. Just look at these buildings. It's a uh, uh, very special place. Glad I came. Glad I have like the whole day to explore this marvelous city. Just wow. It's quite an interesting church here. 
looks like gothic architecture. So as I said, I'm glad I came to Trieste because uh, I went on some travel forums and asked, uh, or I, I, I read a question like, is it worth going to Trieste for the just a day trip? Mostly people said no, that it's too far, it's not interesting. But I barely left the station and this looks like my kind of town. And I guess most people are not able to appreciate uh, seeing the differences in architecture and such. But I certainly do. I mean, just look at this. This looks like a city rich in, uh, in history, obviously. Rich in occult as well. And the esoteric influences. Unfortunately, the church is closed. And uh, as you can see, they also have German uh, text and Slovene. Not very interesting. Obeschamo da je čekev za obiskovalce odprta v sredo, petek, soboti, nedelo od 16.30 do 19.30 v soboto od 10 do 12.30 ure. I can totally understand that from my <laughs> Bulgarian even. Even though Slovene is uh, more distant than Serbo-Croatian from Bulgarian, but as you can see, I can still catch it completely. Uh, very interesting. I'm glad I came here. Let's look at this church from a distance. So, uh, especially the coastal area should be interesting because this is a uh, well, I'm, I'm not sure it was the only coastal piazza of Europe, but for sure the biggest one. I was not pretty well prepared for Trieste, but I guess it was the Piazza Italia or something, which is on the Adriatic coast, and uh, it just shows the uh, the waterfront and some huge buildings on uh, on it as well. And I've always been fascinated by that from very young age like when i saw pictures of trieste i immediately wanted to go see it because it's these buildings and just the grandeur let's say this is exactly the type of city i like i guess to live here is a bit small and boring not sure if you're a bit far from everywhere you're far from uh far from venice which I wouldn't like to live to begin with. It's obviously very far from Milan, from Vienna. Uh, it's not that close to Zagreb and Ljubljana either, which at their turn are not true metropolises either. Far from Munich, far from Rome, obviously. So you're in a really isolated place. In the sense that either you use a transport, which even to Slovenia is not that great. They don't have a have a connection across the border. You can go to Austria, obviously, to Vienna, but you're a bit isolated, partly because of the mountains. It starts right after the coast. When you get into Slovenia, you uh, you're immediately in the Julian Alps, let's say, and that makes this a uh, bit of a cut-off region. But that also makes it very interesting. I can rent a bike here, that's nice. I wonder if I could get to uh, Slovenia on such a bike. I guess I'll just leave Slovenia for a separate trip on its own. Don't want to hurry too much. And I came to Trieste after all, not to Slovenia, so... Might as well just enjoy myself here for a few hours that I do have. Um, back in Udine as well. Not a very good choice. I have to listen to other people, especially because uh, this is definitely worth the trip. Wow. Just look at the waterfront. 
It's obviously very old. You can see it in the buildings. And I guess often, I don't know if they have Aqua Alta here, like they do in Venice, which is the high water. Obviously Venice is known for its floods as well. It's happened several times a year and basically makes a city underwater for uh, I don't know, several hours at a time. And they put higher walkways to, uh, like let's say raised pavement so that you can still walk through the city. And you can get separate, like maps to uh, that highlight the higher walkways so you can see which parts of the city you can still go explore, even if it's flooded. In Venice, obviously, you should never touch the water because partly it's still an open sewer. Even though the houses are slowly starting to make septic tanks, it is, uh, it's still the same as it used to be, which is just a uh, big space under the houses and when it's full it flows over into the water untreated uh, sewage let's say that's how it obviously went 600 years ago when they built these houses and uh, in that sense nothing has changed because there are so many houses on what is it a hundred something islands that you simply it will cost many millions to replace all of these tanks so yeah, it's uh, Mission Impossible. That's the thing with old cities. You cannot just you cannot just change the whole infrastructure in that sense. That uh, it's just too big. But Venice in the 1300s was the most influential and the wealthiest city in uh, in Europe. So it was a metropolis for its time, real metropolis, with ties to uh, the Eastern Byzantine Empire. But anyway, this is the video about Trieste right now, which essentially played a very big role in the Cold War as well. And that's what makes it interesting for me as well. It has a sort of different history than Venice, obviously. It's just... Uh, a whole other type of city. You can see it in everything. Just look at this. There's nothing in common. <laughs> 